what's up everybody happy monday hope all you're having a great day so far today getting into this episode of gh um i am so disappointed in sam i really am i'm disappointed in her because i was rooting for her when she was pissed off at carly but now they just got her just kissing carly ass and i don't like it um i just feel like it's totally ridiculous for her to backslide and be like you know oh you know i, I don't blame i respect drew's decision no 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 she definitely should put the blame on carly because this is carly's fault like who told her to invest she wouldn't be in this mess if she didn't do what people asked her not to do you know what i mean like drew and michael both told her don't do this and she did it anyway she didn't listen um and i hate that carly is still trying to blame whoever snitched on him it's like who snitched on you ain't important oh because somebody did this out of spite it doesn't matter you committed the crime own it move on from it learn from it but you know carly she ain't gonna learn nothing um she gonna do what she want to do and my thing too listen i i don't give a damn how people make their money i don't <laughs> to be honest you make your money how you make it um whether that be the illegal way through divorces lawsuits however you make your green is how you make your green i ain't got no issues with that i ain't got no beef with that I just can't stand how Carly talk like she's so self, you know, self-reliant or whatever. She just self-sufficient. It's like, we all know how you got your money, though. Look at all the men she's married. She walked away from every divorce, damn near every divorce with something. She didn't walk out of none of these marriages with nothing. You walked away with something. You know what I'm saying? Either some stock, some bonds, a house, some cash, property, land. You walked away with something. You didn't walk away out of all these marriages with rich people empty-handed. I'm just saying. She really did. Like, Carly walked away from these marriages with a lot of loot. You know, or something that was worth a lot of money. Um. You know, Carly could sit there and act like she's self-reliant all she wants to. We all know how you got the bag. And that's okay. You know, I'm not even judging her for it. It's just be honest about how you got your money. You know what I'm saying? Don't sit here and rewrite history to suit whatever, you know, whatever shit you spouting off. You know what I mean? Like, don't try to revise history. Let's be honest about how you got that money. Um, Same thing with Sam. You know, she talked about how she's self-reliant and stuff. Now, she may be self-reliant now, but we all know how she was getting her money. Con. Con and rich men out there, out there funds. Um... But I will give it to Sam, though. At least she's, you know, she still work. You know, she not really with no dude for no money. I mean, shit, she dating Dante. Dante not rich. You know what I'm saying? He just a regular Joe Schmo, you know, who works for a PCPD salary. You know, so I give it to her on that. And she dated Lucky at one point. We all know Lucky was broke. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, you know, I could get with that. It's like, at least be honest about your money, you know, or how you make it. You ain't got to lie. Um, but yeah, you know, Carly, at the end of the day, I feel like, of course, she's going to find a way to bounce back as Carly. That's what she does. Um, I'm curious about how she going to bounce back, though, because it seemed like she got a little bit of a, a idea while talking to Sam. Like she got this this brilliant idea or, or something, you know, sparked in her head or clicked in her head that gave her this creative idea to get this money. And I wonder what she going to do. Um, that's the interesting part. So anyway, moving on from that, Gladys is a bitch. <laughs> Gladys done sunk to a whole new damn low. I didn't think she could get any lower. Like, I really did. You know, she's sitting there trying to go to Sunny. I'm glad Sunny closed the door on her ass. Thank God. Like, I am so glad Sunny basically just said, you know what, just just bye. Just go. Because <laughs> it wasn't no point in her going to Sunny. It was like going to Sunny for what? At the end of the day, I agree with Sunny. It's time for Sasha to move on with her life. You know what I mean? Like, she done been through hell and back. It's time for her to move on, get her life back on track, and Gladys need to just let it go and kick rocks. But her and that doctor, though, oh, my God. Just shady as shit. Like, I can't believe a doctor would do that. You know what I mean? Like, what's in it for him? Like, what kind of favor did he want from Gladys? And I hope, like I said before, I hope it wasn't the sexual uh, nature. I hope he wasn't, you know, trying to get no poom poom. I'm just saying, like, what, what favor he want? But Gladys ain't shit, you know, to sit here and try to drug this girl, 
just so you could keep getting your hands on her money. Like, that is so tacky. Trifling. Gladys can go at this point. Like, she really can. I I'm done with Gladys. She can go. She serves no purpose, honestly. Other than to be messy. And I do like a little mess, but she taking it a little too far. Like, who in the writer's room hates Sasha so much? Because... <laughs> Somebody in the writer's room got to not like this girl because they keep writing her to just be in some mess all the time. Like, she can't ever get her life together. Every time you turn around, she in some new bullshit that drag her back down. Like, they need, they need to let Sasha be happy for a moment. Um. So, anyway, moving on from that. I wish Cody would just tell Mac what the hell going on with that DNA. Like, tell that man you, you, the, you the son and he the papa. Like, go ahead and tell that man. I wish Dante would say it, but you know what? I can't be, I can't say Dante should say something, even though I wish he kind of did, but it's not his business to tell. And I really hope when the truth come out, Matt won't be upset with him. I hope not, because I feel like it's not Dante's secret. You know what I mean? Like, Cody need to tell him. Um, I do agree with Matt, though. I wouldn't trust Scott. Like, Scott is my dog and all, but I wouldn't trust him too much. I, I really wouldn't, because, you know, Scott, he got a gleam in his eye. Every time you talk about some big money, oh, Scott going to be there. Oh, he definitely want that, that coin. Um, And I don't blame, you know, Cody for wanting to shut down this whole thing, because I think Cody know that the jig is going to be up, and it's going to blow up in his face if he filed that lawsuit. It's going to blow right up in his face, because you're going to have to do something to prove that, you know, Tob is his father. So, you might have to rig a DNA test or something because how else you going to prove it? So, he might want to shut this, this thing down before it goes any further. Because um, you just got out of one piece of mess with Gladys. You don't want to get into another little legal mess. Um, Mac was looking pretty nice behind the desk, though. I ain't going to lie, being acting police commissioner. But you know what? I'm happy Taggart is going to be the new commissioner. I'm happy about it because I feel like it needs to be a change at the top. Um, Mac, I feel like is a great cop. You know, I'm a big fan of Mac, but I feel like he had his day as police commissioner. And I think Taggart is, you know, the perfect candidate. So we should see what he going to do in the big chair. And, you know, one day it's going to be Dante turn to sit in the commissioner's seat. I can't wait for that day. I cannot wait to finally see Dante sitting in the commissioner's chair. That's going to be crazy. That's going to be crazy. Um, so moving on from that. Drew. Drew, 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 Drew. Just dumb. <laughs> Drew is an idiot. Like, seriously. Like, he spent a smidge of time with his daughter, but you spending all this other time running around saying your goodbyes to everybody. He probably ain't gonna be in Pentonville maybe a month or two. He'll be, they'll find a way to get him out. He ain't, he definitely not doing no three years. I know that. Ain't no way. He gonna be there for a small amount of time, but he'll be out. Um... But if he was smart, he better listen to Cyrus. I mean, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't trust Cyrus as far as I can throw him. Like, I wouldn't trust him like that. But you're going to need an ally in there. And I know Sonny told him that he got people or whatever that look out for him. But like Sonny said, his people, you know, they're only going to go so far. You know, his reach in Pentonville only goes so far. So he better listen to, you know, Cyrus and take that shiv that he gave him because at least Cyrus was nice enough to give him a shiv because in Pentonville you're going to need to watch your back you know what I mean like them dudes in Pentonville like I said before they don't play you know you get some handsome looking motherfucker like Drew coming up in there oh they're going to try you <laughs> they're going to try you I mean you get a, a nice looking face and nice physique oh they're going to try you up in there oh yeah Big Bubba going to try you so you better take that knife and you damn sure better they're going to test you when lights go out you better have that knife primed and ready. Because you're going to get somebody up in that cell trying to, you know, come up the rear. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, Drew better watch his ass. Literally and figuratively. Watch it. Um, Something might go up in there. I'm just saying. It's going to be a night. You know, Big Bubba going to come in that cell. He going to be like, what up, Drew? Get ready. Big Bubba gonna make a night to remember. Drew better be Drew better watch out. I'm just saying. It's gonna be a time. It's gonna be a night to remember up in there. He better watch his ass. Again, literally and figuratively. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I need to stop being crass on this Monday. Oh my God, I can't help it. Oh, I feel good. It's hot, but I feel good. <laughs> so anyway, moving on from that, Michael and Willow, they were in the episode. <sighs> Michael and Willow are so boring. <laughs> I can't help it. They bored me. I ain't give a damn about none of these scenes. I li Listen, when they scenes came on, I had that damn TV on the mute. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I had the TV on the mute, so I'm just flying by night about what they was talking about because I really don't know exactly what they were talking about. A little bit. I know. I think I know a smidge because I had the closed captions on. But um, I, I just ain't want to hear their mouth, honestly, because it wasn't nothing important. I mean, at the end of the day, kudos to her. She gets to go home, I guess. She still got to live in a bubble and be isolated. Um, but honestly, I wouldn't give a damn if Michael got mad or not. If she wants Nina to be on the visitors list of people who could come see her, that's her choice. And Michael just not have to roll with it. You know what I mean? Whether he mad about it or not, it don't matter. Because what he feel don't matter. It's her mama. So that's, if she wants to try to bridge that gap between them, that's her choice. You know what I'm saying? Michael just gonna have to shut the hell up. Hell, his, his damn mama get to come around all the time, all the mess she be causing. So, if her mama get to come around, Nina get to come around. Whether they like it or not, get over it. Um, That's pretty much everything in this episode. Um, hit the comment section. Let me know what you all thought. And I will see you all later. Peace.